Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emily Freibler. So today we are talking all about skincare. I am just doing this pretty laid back. Um, this is my skin right now. All I have on is I have two products on my face right now because it is currently 1.15 in the morning. Typically, I will not wash my face until like later in the day after I work out. Um, but I do like to put on sunscreen and I always wash my hands before I do this to not spread bacteria or anything. But I like to put on sunscreen because I will take Luna for a walk and be like kind of outside. So the one that I really, really like is the Eucerin Daily Protection SPF 30. This stuff is so, so nice. It hasn't like made my face sting or anything. It's just like a very nice sunscreen. Does have like a teeny tiny bit of a white cast, um, but it's not too bad. So I have this on my face right now. It's not like greasy. It's very lightweight. It rubs in pretty easily. So this is SPF 30. I do have an SPF 50 that I like as well. I'm going to grab. So I also like the Banana Boat, ba Banana Boat Simply Protect Sensitive Faces SPF 50. So this one is a little bit different. It's definitely less lightweight. It's a little bit more moisturizing and it's harder to rub in. Um, so I think it just kind of has a little bit more of a white cast on your face. So if I don't want that white cast and I like kind of care about it, which today for some reason I did, um, I'll put on this, which is one of my favorite products for when my skin is really nice and I just want a little bit of a tint and like smoothing effect. This is the number seven airbrush away tinted skin perfector. It says it has a satin finish, which I definitely agree with. Um, I got the shade light when I am a little bit more tan, I can kind of get away with medium, but light is actually pretty dark. So yeah, I'll just put this over my face and it's kind of like a little bit of a filter. It smooths the face really nicely and gives me a little bit of that color. Um, so that's literally all I have on my face right now. My face the last like couple months has really gone through it. I've had times where I'm breaking out like crazy. I've had times where it's like clearer and then products stop working. So I really think I've found a collection of products that are really addressing the actual issues in my skin. If you guys have watched a lot of my other skincare videos, I have, you know, multiple ones in the past and I've changed up a lot. And I think that's why my skin has been doing so much better. I did stop taking Balance about oh, like almost four weeks ago. Um, I had been on that for a while again and honestly I just didn't think it was really continuing to work for me. I was still breaking out and all that stuff and I just there wasn't really a reason for me to keep taking it. I still stand behind Balance and I still believe it really helped balance out my hormones and get my acne really good for a really long time but it still just wasn't like the one thing that was going to help everything because I still had clogged pores and that's what I've always 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 struggled with is clogged pores on my forehead here and especially right here like right along this area obviously you can tell that's where all my scarring is basically is in this area and that's because I always 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 had clogged pores no matter if if you go back to like past videos especially in the summertime I think I did a skincare routine in the summer I had clear skin for sure but I still had a lot of clogged pores right here and right here and even on my forehead and now mainly all of those are gone I still have some but you know everybody has some clogged pores and so I really did research and I found one of the best resources I think on YouTube is Dr. Dre on YouTube. <laughs> she has a YouTube channel. She is a dermatologist and she just has so many valuable videos. That's who I got recommend. Like basically a bunch of these products are recommended from her. Both of the sunscreens. She went through the drugstore and said different makeup products that were, you know, good for your skin or not bad for your skin. And this number seven one was one of them. I got the face wash uh, recommendation from her, like so many different things. So 
I definitely did my research and I think this stuff is helping. So if you struggle with clogged pores and acne like I do, then yeah, definitely keep watching. The other um, resource that I love is also Jordan Harper on Instagram. She is amazing. I will leave both of their stuff like linked below and I'll try and put their names on the screen for you guys so that you can reference them. So okay, let's get started because I'm like rambling. Okay, first things first, I need to cleanse. And this is a cleanser I've been using twice a day. This is Panoxyl. Um, benzoyl peroxide, benzoyl peroxide, 10%. This is their maximum strength one. I use this twice a day. This is drying, so I would recommend starting with like once a day, um, because it it definitely will dry out your face. Um, this is supposed to like have antibacterial ingredients that are supposed to target, um, you know, blemishes and everything like that. So I use this and I make sure to massage it on the skin for at least 60 seconds. Like I literally count in my head. You should be doing that with any face wash, but this one says one to two minutes. So I usually try and aim for the two minute mark. Um, just because my acne was like really pretty bad. I'll try and put pictures on the screen if I have some from when I started all of this, um, stuff so I do wash my face with this it's like a creamy face wash I need to get a new one because I am literally almost out of it and Jordan Harper told me not told me specifically but said on her Instagram that you should always be washing your hands before washing your face which I never really thought of like I understand like you shouldn't be t touching your face throughout the day that is another tip that I have to please try not to touch your face um, because that's going to be spread, spreading bacteria on your face. Um, just be very cautious of what things are touching your face and if they have bacteria or whatever on them. So I'm going to wash my hands right now. And since I do have like a little bit of makeup or sunscreen on my face, um, when I have makeup on, I like to use the Pons Fragrance Free Cold Cream. That's another suggestion from Dr. Dre. I really like these makeup cleansing cloths as well, but I felt like if I wasn't using something like this with them, um, it was a little bit too harsh. So I do like to use these in conjunction, but I make sure to wash these like all the time because I don't want to be spreading like old makeup bacteria on my face. And to be honest with you, in the morning, I usually like have just worked out. So I'll just do all this in the shower. So on a dry face, since I have like barely anything on my face, I will just take a little bit of this. This is like super nice and moisturizing and you literally just do this all over. You can do this with a full face of makeup. It doesn't irritate my eyes. Takes off all my like mascara, everything. I just massage this in. So then I'll just go in with the cloth and wipe that off. Okay, so my face is wet and I'm just gonna take like this much face wash and just rub it on my face. I don't use any type of device. I just use my fingers and make sure to massage every single part I get up in my hairline because like if I'm wearing my big headphones while I work out, I wanna make sure that I don't get breakouts there along my hairline, my jawline. And I do this for 60 seconds or more. Okay, so I just pat my skin dry with a clean towel. I make sure to replace my towels a couple times a week and just always keep clean towels because bacteria can be in towels as well. Um, and then I'm using these toning pads. If I can grab one, I need, I actually just placed an order for these. And these are salicylic acid and glycolic acid. Um, they're 10% glycolic acid and 2% salicylic acid. It has l and vitamins B5, C, and E and green tea extract in it. I got these on Amazon. Obviously, I'll have everything linked in a blog post for you guys. And I use these both morning and night, but again, they can be drying. So start with once a week and build up to, or not once a week, once a day, or every couple days if you're really sensitive to them. 
and then build up to it. Your skin will be a little bit sensitive, like you might get a little bit of tingling and stuff, but I love these so much because glycolic acid really sheds off those dead skin cells and really exfoliates the skin and salicylic acid actually penetrates deep into your pores and cleans them out. Um, so that's why this is like the best thing ever. Jordan Harper actually talked about these toning pads that she created and also other um, ones that are made, but those ones are expensive and hers always sell out really quickly. So I found these that are very similar on Amazon. The only thing is you have to make sure that these dry before you, you like your face dries before you put anything else on top of it because it can feel sticky and weird. So I make sure to wait at least like two to three minutes for this stuff to dry on my face before going in with any type of lotion or serum if it's nighttime. And these pads come with 50, so these will last me 25 days um, since I use them twice a day. Um, but I think this is really what has made my skin so much better. I've never like used something like this. This and obviously the benzoyl peroxide work so well together, but again, they're drying. So gradually go into it, but you also will have a little bit of sensitivity in the beginning. Um, Jordan Harper always talks about how you have a little bit of redness, a little bit of tingling, tingling. Stuff like that isn't bad because your skin is going to react because it's changing. Um, so she kind of always talks about that. If you wanna go on her Instagram, and you know, hear her talk more about it, I would highly recommend it because I'm sure I'm not explaining that completely correctly. Um, but as long as you're not having like an allergic reaction with rashes and bumps and stuff like that, if you're just having redness, stinging, stuff like that, it's not too big of a deal. And also a little bit of dryness is totally normal. These are really, I think, what has helped with the texture of my skin because it's really exfoliating and penetrating deep into the pores and that's what's helping with the clogged pores the most. I think this is helping probably the most with my cystic acne and this is helping with the clogged pores. Okay, and once my skin is dry or you know not sticky from those pads, I go in with the CeraVe Daily Hydrating, or not hydrating, moisturizing lotion. I was using a different soothing lotion for a while, but I just realized this is literally basically the same thing. Um, and I've used this for years and it's moisturizing and I love it. So I always go in with this even before I put on a sunscreen just, just because my skin was drier slash is drier since I've been using these products. It's definitely not like dry dry right now. Um, but yeah, so I'll go in with a pump of this all over my face. I'm still kind of waiting for it to dry. I do want to say that if you're not like me where your schedule is weird and you just wash your face in the morning, you don't like work out um, later in the day or midday like I do and you don't have like a weird schedule, then you can do these steps like right in the morning. You don't have to like put on sunscreen and whatever and wait and like all that kind of stuff. You can literally just go in with your cleanser, go in with your pads once you like work up to it and then go in with your moisturizer and your sunscreen. Um, that's all I do in the morning. So it's four products. I don't think that's that bad for you know a morning skincare routine. And so I have some of this. And again, my hands are clean. And honestly, the texture of my skin has never been this smooth. Not in years, 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 years. And I always bring it down to my neck because you want to make sure your neck stays young as well, not just your face. And keep that nice and hydrated. I went in with the lotion and then I always put on sunscreen no matter what. If I'm going outside to walk Luna or not, I put on sunscreen in the morning slash afternoon since it's 1.30 right now. So I'll have sunscreen. See, so you can see this does have a little bit of a white cast. It will rub in, but it just takes just a tiny bit, especially because my face still is a little wet from the moisturizer. So that's why I do like to go in with something a little bit tinted. You can use your favorite tinted moisturizer or whatever on top of this, or just go in with your makeup as you normally would before work or school or whatever have you. So that is my morning skincare routine. So 
I'll see you guys at night time. Okay, one other thing I wanted to talk about. So I talked about how I clean or I use new towels very frequently. I change out our towels a lot because of bacteria and I don't want nasty stuff on my towels. I also do that with our sheets and my pillowcases. I change my pillowcase probably every three days, I would say, to make sure that the dead skin cells and whatever when I sleep are not on my pillowcase. And then also, I have lately been sleeping with my hair in a braid as recommendation from Jordan Harper as well. She is acne prone. She says she does that to keep her hair out of her face, especially because I don't wash my hair every day. I wash it every four days, something like that. So it's definitely has grease and sweat and whatever and keeping that off of your face is really gonna help prevent breakouts as well. So if you are getting them along your hairline or whatever, check into your skincare or your hair care products or, as well and make sure you're pulling your hair back when you are sleeping. Those are a couple other tips to help prevent acne as well. Okay, now I will see you guys at nighttime. All right, so I'm in my other bathroom. Sorry if it's a little bit echoey. I kind of realize that now, but um, it's a lot easier to film in here because it's a little bit more open. I don't know why I didn't do that before. So I do the exact same thing to take off my makeup, obviously, as I did this morning. So I use the Pond's Cold Cream. I just use a little bit more of it just because I have more makeup on, especially on my eyes. I don't know if you have to use this much, but I do. So I just work it in and my hands are clean. And um, I'm gonna use the same cloth to remove the makeup. You could use a washcloth, you could, but I feel like those are a little bit too harsh. Um, you could also use cotton pads. I've done that before. Like I said, you can take off your makeup however you want, but I definitely suggest double cleansing. So then I just like close my eyes and work it into my mascara area and it just melts everything off. And then I literally just wipe everything off. It literally just comes right off my face. The only area that I have to like actually work it in is my eyes obviously to get the mascara off. And I do use Zote soap or Zote soap to wash this, by the way. It's just a bar of soap that's literally like a dollar fifty or a dollar at like Walmart. Again, I use the Panoxyl 10%. I believe they have like a 4% one too, but I use the 10. And again, make sure you do this for at least 60 seconds, if not um, 120 or two minutes. Just pat your face dry with a relatively clean towel. And then same thing as the morning. I use the QRX Labs Nature Enhanced Glycolic Salicylic 10-2 Acne Control Pads. It's a really long name, but I'm almost out of my first tub. I literally have one for the morning, but I have more coming tomorrow from Amazon, so... I am not worried. <laughs> so like I said, I like to keep everything very simple. So I have been using a different gel, which is at a, what is it? A Dapoline, yes, a Dapoline gel, 0.1%. So this is a medication that used to be only like prescription basis, but they allowed it to be just like a regular over-the-counter medication um, for acne. And I started using this over a year ago, like a year and a half ago, and I haven't stopped. I love it so much. It just helps with um, anti-aging and acne at the same time. It's kind of like a retinol, but it's not. There's like slight differences. I don't, I've tried researching it and I honestly can't remember the difference between them. So once this dries, I will put a pea-sized amount of this all over the face. And then this is one of my favorite new things. So I used to use just like cold pressed um, rosehip seed oil, but um, the Sister Studio IG on Instagram talked about the Palmer's um, Skin Therapy Oil for the face. And this has a bunch of different things in it. It has cocoa butter, retinol, vitamin C. Um, I believe it has vitamin E and it has rosehip seed oil, I believe in it as well. So it like really helps 
with evening your skin tone. It helps with all these acne scars and everything like that. And I have seen such a big difference. Definitely, obviously still have scarring from, um, you know, acne, but not nearly as much. It just evens out your skin tone so amazingly. So I use this every single night and I'm almost out of this bottle, but that that's not to say that I've used the whole thing. I actually spilled about half of it. But it's really, really affordable. It's Palmer's and I need to pick up a new bottle because I'm almost out. So my face is almost dry. This is how much of the different that I use. It's a very small amount. You can just take some on your fingers and dab it on different parts of your face and rub it in. I just do this very lightly. I have heard like differing things if you're supposed to do like oils and stuff before moisturizer or not. I've heard differing opinions. So I used to do this after moisturizer, but lately I've been doing it before. I don't really see much of a difference in like the moisture of my skin or anything like that. So I'm gonna do it before today. Don't come for me if that's wrong, <laughs> but I get a like dropper and do like half of it basically. And then I rub it between my fingers and just pat it on the skin. And then to finish it off, I just take my CeraVe, CeraVe, I think, Daily Moisturizing Lotion. Take a little bit of that and do the same thing. Just pat it on the skin. So this routine, you guys, has really worked for me. There were definitely times, obviously, that my skin was super dry. Um, but I feel like I'm on the better end of everything. Obviously, it takes a long time to really see completely noticeable changes in your skin but I've seen a lot of changes already and it's been four weeks but I am someone who always is like how's my skin looking is it better so I'm really excited to see how my skin looks after I use this for like months because I I just know I'm going to see a lot of improvement and I'm really excited to continue using these products and have clear skin for the spring and summer months so that is my skincare routine. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, this is just a shot at my skin so you can see it. And like I said, you will have like slight tingling and stuff on your face. My face feels a little tingly right now, but it's just the products working their magic basically. So you might have a little bit of irritation or whatever. So this is my skin. And I'm so happy with it. So, all right, you guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. I upload new videos every single week on beauty, lifestyle, and fashion. So I hope you'll subscribe and I'll see you in a video very, very soon. Bye, guys.